The Book of Psalms has rightly been called the hymn book of the temple. In English, we call it Psalms from the Greek Psalmos, meaning Psalms accompanied with music. In Hebrew, the title simply and eloquently means praises. The 150 chapters of Psalms were originally arranged into five sections or books that correspond with the first five books of the Bible. Many English translations still preserve these sections. The authors of the Psalms are diverse, but most of them are from the days of King David. At least 73 of the Psalms were written by King David himself. Probably some of the orphan or unclaimed Psalms were his as well. Other writers from the Levite musicians of his day are the sons of Korah, Asaph, Heman, and Ethan. There are two written by David's son Solomon, and there is even a psalm written much before the days of King David by Moses. His is Psalm 90. Due to the great organization of David in preparation for the temple, it is not a stretch to credit him with the first organization of the book of Psalms. His prowess in ordaining praise and worship can be read about in 1 Chronicles 16, 23 and 25. Some Psalms were written after the days of King David, so the final organization and structure of the book cannot be fully attributed to him. Some of the Psalms speak about the Babylonian captivity, which occurred after the destruction of Jerusalem and Judah. So when was the book of Psalms completely finished? Well, sometime shortly after, the Babylonian captivity was ended by Cyrus the Great of Persia. A possible solution is that the Psalms were then arranged by Ezra the scribe.